Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I hope you're well and safe and wow, you thank you very much for all your likes you are um, number sorry I didn't do you first but you are number five in the in line it, uh, I usually used to do uh, start at Capricorn and then uh, Aquarius Pisces etc etc but like I said <coughs> excuse me um, the one that has the most likes will be the first up in the row but it was so late last night and I did make my videos um, up till uh, Gemini but because Libra it was second and I think it was Virgo that was third uh, I, I, and I had done other videos I just wanted to get them out there so next time you will be number one um, and for because of my excuses uh, together with the number one next week so it all depends who has the most likes and hits that will be number one but because you were number five and I didn't get you out in time in the row um, then uh, um, I will put you down as number one at the same time as the real winner okay I'm uh, I hope you are well and thank you very much for all your likes and shares I do appreciate it and your all your donations uh, in the live sessions as I go live three times a week that's Monday Wednesday and Friday I give away free cards but I also uh, answer questions that are supported with a donation that is either a super chat or a super sticker if you would like to have an extended reading with me one-on-one -on -one, then please look in the uh, information below in the description box below this video or click on that white dot in the left hand right hand corner in the screen also welcome back my cyber angels I do love you and I do miss you but I've got I'm extremely busy at the moment uh, with this competition and other things I'm also uh, studying up uh, uh, new ways because I you know that I do the chakras and Reiki and healing and now I'm studying this book tarot and the chakras it's really intense and I will also make a review once I've uh, done a little bit read, read up in the in the book and because I'm studying it and like I said it is really intensive and of course summer is coming so um, I hope a lot of you will go on holiday the borders are opening up and the energy has changed so I hope you have watched your update on the yearly the seven month forecast and um, I thank you very much for the beautiful reactions in the love uh, reading and um, also I hope you enjoy the weekly and the reviews now talking about the competition you can win the deck uh, Shadowlands uh, if you've watched the video uh, you can win a brand new deck the Shadowlands by Monica Bordersky and these are the cards if you would like to have a good view or a better view of them then have a look at the re uh, uh, um, the review and I'm also using the mirror uh, truth Lenemon and the big arcana from the white witch with the angel feather and I'm doing my nine card spread in the this is the reading or the spread that I use when I do a one-to-one -one reading but now I won't go too much in depth if you really want to know what how I do it then have a look at the Gemini okay because um, in the extended reading on one-to-one -one, I do it more in depth which takes 30 minutes otherwise I'll be sitting here for an hour okay um, I'm, this is you this is the querent card and I'm just pretending that you're sitting across from me you're the camera and um, this is usually was the theme card you can still use it as the theme card and this is Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and then I will uh, go to the Lenormand cards in the corner and either I use these as clear uh, 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 I use those as clarification cards and this card will clarify these three cards the same with uh, the car cards in the other corners okay so let's get started and please 
don't forget to like and share make sure that you're number one uh, by them having the most shares so you can only get the most shares if you share and tell people about the channel and you have the ace of pentacles so something new and lasting with durability is coming towards you wow this could be a job this could be a house durability something that you can touch this can also be a car but it can also be uh, a holiday home it can be a child it can be a birth of a child or a project could be a new hobby that might turn out into work that will deliver money or rediment okay or you might be meeting a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus there might be a new beginning you hold the world in your own hands Wow now we're going to Monday and you've got the five of Pentacles and the five of Pentacles means that you might feel out of whack you're not in balance or you might be feeling left out of a group look at the Bigfoot he is feeling left out okay but don't worry and you can also um, in yeah well, my my imagination and my intuition works over time Bigfoot is of course not one of the family but um, he does feel left out he feels lonely you could feel that but it could also be somebody watching over you as in the traditional deck we have the church window and that means that the divine and the angels are uh, uh, have your back and your interest but you can also take the step to join a club or can join a group so take the opportunity or have the courage to join or have take a membership in a keep fit a swimming pool tennis football then you will be one of the team it is never long lasting so that is on Monday on uh, Wednesday you have the strength card and the strength card is of course Leo you might be meeting a Leo this could be a new beginning with a Leo or in a club and sh look she's got the keep fit well and I just said so keep fit I hadn't even stood still um, with that I didn't see it before so you know she's keeping fit she is um, her inner she's being playful she's doing it in a playful way because the child is there <coughs> sorry the child is there and she has been naughty because she's most probably uh, not exercised and keep kept slim so patience and strength um, and love okay so be patient let your inner child come out do it in a playful when, uh, manner don't be the little devil that's a little cat a red cat don't be the devil and don't eat if you're on a diet or if you want to get slim stick to the program be strong okay and keep training and you'll develop muscles instead of flabby legs <laughs> okay I'm sorry I think this this deck is so humorous and I that's why I like it it also makes me want to go back to it day and every day so the uh, the strength card is the Leo so keep your strength and persevere even if you feel alone persevere on Friday you will be receiving news this could come from a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian but the news will be going through cyber telephone email text message it could be about uh, it will bring you clarity obviously because this swords brings you clarity they it stands for honesty truth justice clarity so it might be with uh, something judicial or official it could also be that um, uh, about an, a new course a new study because wisdom uh, or about communication communication might start up again if you uh, haven't been able to get some a hold of somebody now they are 
uh, answering you back after the Covid virus because the offices are opening up again. At the weekend, because you've got this message, most probably something has become clear. Um, your goals or your dreams or your wishes are, are going to be in your mind. You are longing for something, so what are you going to choose to get this new start? If it isn't a job, it might be a house. So you might get news that the mortgage is going through or your loan is going through. Or you might get news about a pay rise. There's so many dreams and wishes that you wish to have. So you will get clarity on Friday, which will make you think twice because you can only take one choice out of many. Wow. And seven is good luck. And you're going from a seven to an eight. So you are getting stronger and stronger. Just be positive and believe in yourself. Now, we've got the fish, Sagittarius, and 34, also a seven. The fish is also the king of pentacles, the king of diamonds. I hope you can see it. But the fish means you don't know your boundaries, so make sure that you know your boundaries and that others know your boundaries as well. Dare to say no. People have to respect your boundaries. That is showing you respect. If they go over the boundaries, then they disrespect or they, um, they abuse your respect and trust. Okay? And you have to know your boundaries so you can tell others what your boundaries are. There's luck in work, like a pay rise or a promotion, or in your business. You might get more clients. The king of uh, diamonds is the king of pentacles. Anything you do will turn to gold, will turn out positive. If you uh, invest in something, it will bring its return. Okay, and that could be the news. Now these three uh, cards, like you might be working really hard, so you can't join in in groups because the fish means that you can also work well in groups or act well in groups. So you might not be able to join the group at the moment because you're working that hard. You're working towards your goal. Okay, a goal or a wish does not get fulfilled if you don't work for it. You know what you're aiming for, and it's going to start now, or it has already happened. Okay, remember, time is man made. I'm just giving you the in uh, an initial time of the week, but it could happen right bang on Monday. What happens on Friday could happen straight away on Monday. Okay, now we're going to this card and you have the clouds and after rain comes sunshine and you've got number six here. Okay, uh, so you're back in balance and you've got the king of wands, the king of clover. So you're taking action and the king of clover, he's very strategic, logical, passionate. Uh, he stands for passion, creativity and action. You are really active. Sagittarius, I know you're. Um, I know you're very sensitive. Um, that is what I've noticed with a few uh, Sagittarians um, that I talk to. They they want so much that they um, they act so swiftly and keep on going and on and on and on until they burn out. So be careful. Don't get burned out because you can get arguments with people. All right. You, that is, the clouds means disagreements and arguments. Um, but this one is, if, if you have had one, then this is short-lived because the sun is already breaking through. But think a little bit about other people. They can't handle it um, if you're grumpy and moody and tired, okay? And think of yourself. Be balanced. You must stay strong and be balanced because uh, otherwise you will burn yourself out and then you get grumpy and you, you lose your health. So you've got the king of uh, rods. And, you know, I always say you might be meeting a king of rods or you might be partnered up with the king of rods or you might act like the king of rods because you are a fire sign 
and I do feel for you because when you're so active you're too tired and then you can't enjoy the general life so if you uh, you know in England we say work 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 makes Jack a dull boy people don't like it when you're dull they love you because you are you now look stand in your strength and say no okay learn to say no I know it's very difficult but you are working for new this for this new beginning perhaps a house a new car <laughs> a wedding with um with an earth sign uh, a Virgo uh, a Capricorn or a Taurus you you are putting yourself in this position that you feel left out or alone so if you balance out calm you know cool be cool and be you can be strong but you can also be passionate like the king of wands then people because they see you and they get your attention they give you their attention they love being with you because let's face it a flame is a light and you are their light. They want to spend time with you. Okay? Realize that. Don't be too selfish. Uh, you don't impress people by being number one. You impress people by being you. Okay? You have to, you know, you don't have to stay uh, strong all the time. Okay? If you if it's too busy, then ask for help. Don't shy away to ask for help. There are other people around you, okay? You can be, so long you tell people, I'm too busy, can you cook tonight? Or uh, can we go out to dinner? That's another way of solving the issue. Don't create any problems where there aren't. Try to find a solution the best way possible. You've also got the lily. So the lily is the king of swords. Now you've got three kings the king of pentacles the king of fire three kings and the king of swords the king of swords is a gemini but don't exclude libra or aquarius so you might be uh, dealing with them or you might meet them so uh, he will bring you clarity he could be your advisor and he will uh, do things by the letter of the law and bring you clarity he will use his wisdom and his communication to like it could be somebody that is promoting your company or it could be your boss there will be luck at work or business because you've got the lily okay and you're not alone the divine or the angels have your back and you've got number 30 which is three you are creative enough because the king of wands um, is creative and definitely the Gemini is creative okay so take it easy ask for help you've got plenty of advices around you the king of Pentacles on how to invest that will turn to gold you've got the king of wands he's the king because he knows how to do it when to take rest and when to come into action <coughs> he uh, he makes a strategic plan now the king of uh, the swords of um, um, oh gosh clubs uh, no it's not clubs I don't know just say, call it the king of I've lost the word now the king of swords he is swift and he knows uh, his law okay he knows the rules he can tell you how to use the rules to your advantage in business so you will get luck and more customers or a promotion okay he might be the one that is uh, sending news through the page okay gives the, it to the page and the page will tell you your and he will tell you which dream or goal would be the best to um, act upon who will bring the biggest return like the king of coins something that will bring a large return again and again and again before you start this new beginning I love this reading it's really something <coughs> um, something is starting for long term and it will bring its return back and back and back again now we've got this corner and you've got the garden 
and you've got the seven of swords be careful of sneaky people have your back because you've got the seven of spades that's it I've got the word back you're in balance okay you're in balance you you can create balance look at that that's 20 which becomes two you might be going to meetings presentations gatherings birthdays reunions because somebody in from the past m you might meet again okay now the person that you could meet is a once an earth sign or a fire sign so those are the people to watch out or a Leo which is a fire sign as well but the strength is a person card okay now you could be meeting a Gemini because you've got the lovers and that is your soulmate okay so a Gemini could be your soulmate the lovers means soulmate being uh, emotionally in balance definitely in love coming together unity you'll be unified you will not be alone okay you you will have unity this week now the uh, angel feather that you can use <coughs> excuse me I get stuck in my throat uh, and I've got a dry mouth again sorry just take a glass of water a sip of water you've got the two of hearts sealed as one and I didn't sort out these cards and you've got the Gemini card the lovers two hearts sealed as one look at the two hands Wow if you are not hooked up it could be your feminine side and your masculine side being back in balance two hearts sealed as one the angels have heard your prayers to meet your soulmate and are here to inform you that this person will arrive in your life very soon you can wear the color you can eat red fruit like strawberries red berries to enhance the stress level and the health of your well-being and get yourself rooted and it's Archangel Uriel because he is the angel of the root uh, being rooted and he's the angel of presence whose name means light of God often depicted holding a scroll which contains information on your life path Wow that is amazing so that could be um, that you are learning something new like I said you might be going back to school okay that is you might be enhancing your wisdom perhaps that might be it so that you can work hard and that you can buy that house or that car or that pet a new dog a new cat there is so many wishes so be careful what you wish for that is the message here take action take advice seek advice don't shy away from advice and be careful for dece deceiting people because you have got the seven of swords somebody might have left sneakily or is being sneaky okay my darling so be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it I hope you enjoyed this reading take care and stay well please give me the likes and shares and if you want to be the first one then make sure that you keep on sharing it with friends and family and tell them let's get Sagittarius the first one but I think it is awesome you I, I think at the time that I'm d taping this you had 65 likes in the romance readings Wow I was amazed thank you thank you thank you it, it does me so good you know I love it I love it I love it because I know I um, the videos are being watched thank you and God bless enjoy your weekend